Warning, this channel is meant for viewers 21 plus and was created for educational and documentary purposes only. Beginner Buzz does not condone illegal activity and certainly does not sell anything. So don't even ask. Seriously. How's it growing, everyone? Figured you guys already know how we germinate seeds. So, for this second episode of our newest season, we figured we'd change things up, break the process into two, and today, it's all about the process we use to plant our seeds. So get in here. Alright guys, so we got our dirt made up in our last episode. We waited the two week minimum for our earth dust by the Green Sunshine Company to bring the pot to life and start to break things down for these plants. And now, well, it's the good part. It's time to plant some beans. So, first we have to figure a few things out. At this point, we've begun to dabble in photo periods. They're typically shown on our Patreon, but that's just for now until we figure things out a bit. With that though, we've begun to understand the plant better, its stages of growth, and the difference between the two. In short, it's safe to say that yes, we do now see why photo periods are better for beginners. Things have been much smoother, deficiencies progress much slower, plants are much more tolerant of environmental stressors, and are just easier to read. Why? Well, it probably has something to do with the additional time needed for photos to reach maturity. A whole extra month, more or less, to make the bud more dense and frosty. Seems to make sense. Our photo periods certainly were all of the above. Larger plants that grew denser and frostier bud. But in this game, it's all about what you want in your tent and in your life. For us, the quicker turnover of autoflowers seems to be valued. We all know how it is. Grow a plant, you got four jars. And it's delicious. The more you cure, the better it tastes too. But what happens in the end? We all do it. The smoke just loses its luster. You kind of just want something else to smoke after a while. So for autos to take a whole month less and the smaller plant typically means less to smoke, which to most of us is a bad thing, but when looked at in this light can actually be a good thing for certain growers, ourselves included. So, we started with the autos, we don't have photos down just yet, so we decided to stick with autos to see how much progress we can make this season. Now that we got that out of the way, we gotta pick which. Well, first off, we're gonna try things a little differently with our perpetual setup now fully functional. We wanna run entire 4x4 areas as full seasons, so all plants in a tent will be the same age and same strain. Might as well make things easier on us and use some super solid genetics. We figured Mephisto fit the bill pretty well here. Last thing was to figure out how much, and seeing how this is technically our first season under the new setup, we figured we'd go low and slow. Four plants, Mephisto double grape. Boom! All we need is somewhere to put them. Fortunately for us, and like we said at the beginning of this episode, we just made some dirt, or living soil to be more precise. If you haven't watched that video yet, go ahead and do so. We show you how we make it, what we use, amounts, and everything. It'll show you how to make it. Once that's done and you've waited the minimum two weeks, well, this is what you get, soil. And it smells just like a good bag of soil. That first whiff when you open a bag, ah, the good stuff. Rife with microbial and fungal life, our soil is off to the races and already making nutrients for our plant. Keeping things consistent, we went with the three gallon fabric bags and filled them up. Since we're going into the process here, don't pack things down. Ultimately, you want the soil as loose and aerated as possible for when that taproot emerges. Sure, things get packed down over time as you water and other things, but in the beginning, light and fluffy is the way. Seed in, point down, 5 eighths of an inch. Why such an exact number? Some will say it doesn't matter, but for us, that provides us the best depth 
for the plant to emerge quickly while giving the roots enough to grow into. We top with 60 milliliter water, and again, such a specific number. Why? Because for us, in our environment, it seems to be the ideal amount to maximize moisture to the immediate area that the seed's in, allowing it to saturate and essentially germinate without causing overwatering symptoms later on. The last thing we do is mist the top of the soil as well as the humidity dome, and done. Well, almost. As we explained in a previous episode, we have set up our two foot by four foot Mars Hydro heat mat to warm the front half of the veg tent. Automated by a thermometer and temperature probe, this keeps the floor in a nice, comfortable 82 degrees. Remember, for germination, root zone temps are equally important to environmental temps when it comes to germination, as Dr. Bruce Bugby refers to it as one of the nine essential factors one must properly balance to successfully grow this plant. Now, all we have to do is wait. One thing we're doing different this time, thanks to me, is sealing up the humidity domes to allow for higher humidity longer. With everything changed around, humidity is set to flower levels for both sides. Beyond that, everything these plants are experiencing in veg is the same. However, when we started to plant seeds only to achieve abysmal results, we sought to first figure out the issue so that we could correct it. And literally, the only thing that is different is the humidity. Sealed up in the domes, seeds are basically exposed to much higher and more ideal humidity in their immediate area now through germination. Just like that, we saw an immediate uptick in germination all the way to 100%. So, that's how we're doing it, but that is it for our footage this week. Next episode will be a midweek trap featuring our new Rosin Evolution pre-presses. And yes, that means another video is coming at you later this month, showing the squish featuring our low temps V2. Before that though, we'll be back with another episode to show how these babies turned out. So don't stress, just keep learning, keep growing. Catch, Catch you later, later guys. guys.